emulate. What we can remember, we can repeat. And I ask every one of you to make it a challenge in your life to repeat that good, to appeal to the best in your neighbor, appeal to the best in yourself, and make this state and this country better every single day. Thank you. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. used his tremendous gift of speech and deed and organization to seek racial equality. Both men sought a better nation, a country where the promise of the Constitution would be fulfilled and all men and women would walk side by side. God praying for those that are in combat throughout the world. God praying in order to protect the dream of Dr. King that God we'd be able, Master, to sit together, to sing together, to pray together, and Father, live in peace together. Lord, as we pray, we pray, God, for the youth throughout the world. I know of no other state in the Union that is having a similar gathering today, a prayerful gathering, a gathering of all faiths and all races, to pray, not only in the memory of Martin Luther King, but particularly to give us the strength to go ahead and carry out that for which he stood. We in Arkansas, as I say, can set a pattern for the rest of the nation. We must intensify our communication. We must make better known, not only to your government, but to the people of this great state the problems that led to this tragic incident. I can stand here and enumerate problems. I hardly need to enumerate them to many of you here in the audience. But to those who may be listening on radio or on television, let us not forget the importance of equal education. Let us not forget the importance of the environment. Let us not forget the importance of the elimination of the slums, of the ghettos. Let us not forget that we are all the creatures of God. Black, white, makes no difference. We are the creatures of God, and therefore we must act as the responsible creatures of God. When great trees fall, rocks on distant hills shudder, lions hunker down in tall grasses, and even elephants lumber after safety. When great trees fall in forest, small things recoil into silence, their senses eroded beyond fear. When great souls die, the air around us becomes light, rare, sterile. We breathe briefly, our eyes briefly, see with a hurtful clarity. Our memory, suddenly sharpened, examines gnaws on kind words unsaid, promised walks never taken. Great souls die, and our reality, bound to them, takes leave of us. Our souls, dependent upon their nurture, now shrink, wizened. Our minds, formed and informed by their radiance, fall away. We are not so much maddened as reduced to the unutterable ignorance of dark, cold caves. And when great souls die, after a period, peace blooms, slowly and always irregularly. Spaces fill with a kind of soothing, electric vibration. Our senses restored, never to be the same, whispered to us, they existed, they existed. We can be, be and be better for Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Governor Winthrop Rockefeller, for they existed.
about two seconds. Hang on, just stand still. Stand still, love. One second. I know. Just hold on. Go, go, go. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. So, I just moved in with this family, and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born, and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this, for his sake. Once you post your image online, you can't take it back. Anyone can see it. Family, friends, anyone. Remember, think before you post. Another exciting component about today's event is that today we are proclaiming April 4th to be Arkansas Youth Community Service Day, where we are asking youth to do something and get back to their community. Hi, my name is Tammy Bourgeois. I'm with Little Rock Job Corps, and I am the STARS coordinator for Little Rock Job Corps. That's pretty much the uh, public relations and outreach uh, person for the community. Hi, my name is Terry Bosley, and I'm a CNA at Little Rock Job Corps. My name is Dustin McNeely, and I'm in Little Rock Job Corps for the security trade. My name is Richard Davis, and I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Job Corps for culinary arts. My name is Demetrius Washington, and I'm a Job Corps for security. My name is Corey Hayes, and I'm a Job Corps for security trade. My name is, Little, my name is Roger Miller, and I'm a Job Corps to get my high school diploma so I can enlist in the military. They're learning to give back to the community, to be a, a vital part of that community, and to um, appreciate what's given to them through Job Corps and through the Martin Luther King Commission with the opportunity to serve. I'm Hank Ford. I'm with Safe Flight Auto Glass, and uh, this is our uh, fourth year at the event. It's the best event that we do all year long, uh, community involvement, and the importance of the date itself is, uh, is why we participate. Uh, a lot of personal satisfaction out of it, and as a company, everybody just loves coming out and doing it. We are uh, the Real Rock Riders Motorcycle Club. My name is Bart Man, my riding name, and this is uh, Short Dog, aka Roscoe, and we are here. Um, to help out with the Martin Luther King Commission, and um, we're just glad to be here with the kids. I am so happy that you tuned in to join us today. For more information or for volunteer opportunities, please call us at 1-888-290-KING or visit our website at www.arkingdream.org. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted. Every hill and mountain shall be made low, the rough places will be made plain, and the crooked 